Hey everyone, it's your Theosaurus Rex. I want to kind of just go cheat from the hip a little bit and do this all in one take so I can get extra content out there. Woo woo! Um, I want to talk specifically about all the virtue signaling going on within, especially within Christianity, and what's going on with, regarding this whole Charlottesville thing. Um, and I think as Christians, when we rush to to, to talk about how we're not like that and we're not doing this and we're not doing that. We, we do ourselves a huge disservice, right? And I've noticed it's especially big um, within the more um, liberal arm of Christianity within the more progressive one side of it, um, within the more social justice-y um, arm of it. And it's that whole thing that like, well, yeah, well, I'm not like those Christians or I'm a cool Christian, but I'm not like that. Or... In the case of what's happening in Charlottesville, everyone rushing to say about how Christianity doesn't support racism and stuff like that. The problem is when you when you go out of your way to say, well, I don't support this, I don't do that, you're you're doing two things that hurt not only your belief system but uh, your credibility. The first thing is you're legitimizing the argument. If no one's saying, and I don't know anyone who is saying that that or at least it's if they are saying it which someone may which is absolutely possibly true they're not um it's not widely being spread and it's not an official stance there's no reason to take it as the, such that well christianity supports bigotry and that christianity believes that racism is real and that christianity is the religion of this it's always denounced when it's brought up and when it's asked about. So why do we need to go out of our way to do it? If anyone understands what Christianity is, Christianity at its core follows on the idea that God created us and he created us within in his image, right? And so because of that, we have inherent value. We have such value in that, that Jesus himself, God, in the person of Jesus Christ, died for us so that we could be reconciled with him. For everyone. I don't believe in the whole Calvinist idea that only certain people get to go to heaven, etc. He died for everyone. And so every person has value. Whether it be an, an evil person or whether it be someone who's a pretty decent person. Whether you're a racist, whether you're a homosexual, whether you're a, a murderer, a rapist, a petty thief, whatever. We all sinned. Even if, even if you didn't do anything wrong, really. That you, you don't do anything that you think was wrong. Um, we've all sinned at some point, and we've all fallen short of the standard of perfection. And because of that, there's stuff that we have to deal with in life. And there's stuff that, um, that that's wrong, and that there's evil in the world. And Jesus died so that we didn't have to deal with that evil anymore in the long run and stuff like that. So we have, and your point is we have, we have value and we have worth inherent within us. So... If one were to take that and one were to believe the Bible, there is no room for racism. There is no room for, for bigotry. And it doesn't matter if it's white supremacy, if it's black supremacy, white power, black power. Any kind of racial power or any kind of racial nationalism is wrong and it's evil and it should be condemned. So when Black Lives Matter is going, black power, black power, that's just as evil as if the people, which I didn't even hear reports they were doing, walking down saying white power, white power. That's just, that's not the way that it works. And there's no reason to assume that Christianity would support that, right? And so when you got all these Christians saying, we have to condemn this, we have to condemn this, you're not, what are you doing? Well, you're condemning something that nobody accused Christianity of doing. And if they did, they were wrong and don't understand it. Or also, and also, then you're just going out there and doing something safe, right? It's not very difficult to go out there and to condemn something that everyone believes is wrong to begin with, right? Nobody's over here arguing that white supremacy is a good thing. Some people may, and they'll be wrong, and that's not an accepted belief. So for you to go out there and to say, well, white supremacy is bad, okay, cool. What have you done? That's so different than standing outside of McDonald's and saying, hey, look, there's a giant M in here. This must be McDonald's. I'm going to spend my money in McDonald's. Okay, so what? Who cares? You're not doing anything that's, that's worth of note. And so to say that it's a Christian value that we have to do that, whatever, is to add on stuff that isn't, that isn't important. 
right? And it, and it legitimizes the fact that people may think that, or that people should think that, or that it, that, or that that is part of Christianity, and all of that's completely false. Secondly, it when you do that, you're just falling right into the narrative, to a narrative that white people are doing, that white people are naturally white nationalists or racist or or whatever right it's not helping anything like all the people on facebook who are decrying white nationalism so are you saying that like people within your life shouldn't don't know that you're not a white nationalist why do you have to to say it my friends of all different sizes and shapes and colors and genders and stuff like that you know, I spend time with them. I talk with them. I, they know about me. I know about them. They're not over here arguing. They're not saying, oh, well, Theosaurus Rex, what do you think? Or do you, are you a white supremacist? I've never heard about it. I, oh, I wish that he would post something on there to let me know that, that he's not a white supremacist. What? No. Because my interaction with them, my in, hang out with them in our daily life and our living life together that shows that that's not the truth that shows that I have compassion for people that I don't support any of that kind of stuff and I've been consistent one thing that really annoys me are the people that are over here and like when you had Black Lives Matters going around and like people from that group maybe not officially affiliated with that group or whatever in the Baltimore riots going around let's kill you know let's find whitey let's beat him up they're beating all the white people up or here, or here, you know, oh, well, they're just misunderstood. That's fine. They're totally cool. What? No, that's wrong. And if you say that's wrong, and you say that the group of people around them are wrong, then, or if you say that they're wrong, then either the group of people around them are wrong, or they're not, okay? Right? So we can say that, okay, people, when Black Lives Matter was around, people were, did things that were racist towards white. Okay, cool. Now, white people go around and there are some Nazis in the midst. And a couple of those Nazis went out and did stuff. They got in fights with Antifa and with Black Lives Matters. Okay, cool. So, what happens there? Is every white person there wrong? Is what shows in there evident of what hap what's happening in America all the time? Absolutely not, because if it was, people wouldn't be freaking out over everything. Right? That's not a daily occurrence. That's a side issue. That's a side thing that happens once every blue moon. It might be more based on the reaction of everything because they have just as much of a right to do stuff, to organize, and to march as anybody else in this country. So I guess the other thing that my issue with the whole Christian response to all this kind of thing is the whole fact that... Um, well, let's say, ah, oh, well, homosexuality, there, there's nothing wrong with that because, well, I mean, there may be, it's a little bit of a sin, but you know what? That's no different than anything else. It's no different than, 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 uh, the heterosexuals who sleep together before they're married. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's good because no sin is different. All sin is the same in that it separates us from God. You are correct. Oh, but what about racism? That's even worse because because everyone here is racism, and, and if you don't support Black Lives Matter, you're a racist. What? what? Where'd that come from? I thought all sins were the same. I thought no sin was worse than the other. I thought Jesus and his whole thing was that we should love the sinner and hate the sin. Where's the love for the for the people who are... So I get that now I'm frustrated about that. Where is it? Where's the people trying to understand? Where's the love for the people who are who are misled and think that that one race is more superior than the other? Oh, I see this condemnation. And while it should be condemned from a um from a <clears throat> moral and ethical point, from a Christian point, we need to go out there and we need to be loving them. And we need to be sharing the gospel with them because that's the only thing that's going to change them. And they may think they're Christians, but if they think they're Christians and they think that their God says that it's okay to, to think less of people because of their race, then they're sorely mistaken. I don't know. Anyway, that was just a quick thing taken all in one 
take. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, if maybe y'all will ever listen to Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, have a wonderful day. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe. If not, hey, it's all good too. Cheers.